its wings and it began to fly at my mother, which at that point, my mom <laughs> ran away, like just completely abandoned me. And you guys, welcome back to the Camper Dad's Reacts channel. It's been a minute. I know I haven't uploaded in a few days yet. <laughs> no. Alright you guys, anyway, um, decided to take a break, but I'm on and I am ready to go, so we're gonna start off this, so we're gonna start off this Thursday with Young Dun the Sauce God, first reaction video from Young Dun the Sauce God, Living with the Roaches Animated Story Time. Alright, let's get into this video. Yeah. knew this but she didn't have the time to go and get all of that done in time for dinner so she just used what she had and sure enough when she sprayed this roach all she did was make it mad and and like stronger like the raid Damn. insect poison is like pre-workout for jumbo roaches it, roach it just muscles. amped him up So the other day I was going through my subscriptions and I saw that my wifey Tabs had posted a video. Oh, what's up? You didn't know Tabs was wifey? Man, it's all good, man. She ain't know either. <laughs> anyway, in this video, she basically just shares her experiences with what it's like to live amongst rats. You know, she lives in New York and in New York, y'all got mad rats. So she just basically just gave her rundown of what it's like living in that and it reminded me of my own personal experiences when it comes to dealing with pests but unlike tabs i don't really got beef with rats like that man i've never lived anywhere where rats were a problem for me it was roaches so i don't know how old i was when this happened i just know that i was young enough to the point where my mom still had to pick me up to sit me on the kitchen counter so there i am sitting on the counter as my mother was cooking dinner and then a fucking roach crawls from underneath the kitchen door that led outside. Now, I don't remember who saw it first, but what I clearly remember was my mother losing her fucking <laughs> mind when she saw it. Because no. my mother is deathly afraid of roaches. Like, there's nothing in the animal world that she fears more. Snakes? Please. Rats? Yeah. Cute. Lizards? Get that shit out of here! But at the side of a cockroach, she is done. Like, she leave, like the house, forever. Like on some start over life type, like move to a new city, change her name, start a new family. That's how much she's scared of roaches. So there we are in the kitchen and my mom was yeah. very upset because one, she already started cooking. There, there was food <laughs> on the stove so she couldn't just uh, leave it to burn. burn and two, she was upset because she knew that she had to be the person to deal with it. I mean, I wasn't going to handle it. I, I couldn't have been older than six. And in my head, my parents were like my superheroes. So, so me like my mom being afraid of roaches made me afraid of roaches too. And the only other people in the house were my teenage girl cousins and my baby sister. So she was f the moment it walked in. So after she manages to gather some courage, she reaches for the roach spray that she kept underneath the kitchen sink. She then turns to me and is like, Chris, don't move. Which, that was messed up. What, what she should have done was taken me off the counter to For let real? me go to my room. And you'll see why in a second. So my mom slowly approaches the roach, spraying hand, aims at the roach, and then douses the roach in poison. Like, empties half the can. Now, some Damn. of y'all might be thinking, cool, problem solved, right? Roach, dead. <laughs> No. So, as most of you know, I grew up in Jamaica, and <laughs> Jamaica is a tropical it was paradise. The Truly, no. a garden of Eden. We have no venomous <laughs> snakes, no poisonous wait, wait, animals, wait, wait. there are no predators of any kind, wait. like no lions, bears, wolves, not even a <gasps> coyote. Truly a paradise. I mean, yeah, of course, there is the rampant gun violence and corrupt government, but but that's that's always happening everywhere. Yeah, right? ain't so no government. Right. No but more. what we do have. Are jumbo roaches, or at least that's what we hey, call them. If you want to see what roaches? one of these demon roaches look like, their scientific name is Blabberus giganteus, which oh, literally means no. giant 
roach. Like, they I imagine got when I say roaches. cockroach, you think of something that looks like that this. That ain't no water bug. Those aren't the roaches I'm talking about. These roaches are two to four times as big oh, as a regular hey, roach. No. They're scary looking and they don't fucking Die. You can't kill oh, these roaches no. with regular things like roach spray or a heavy boot. Just to kill one of these bastards, you need to take like a like a sword that was enchanted by a witch on a mountain at night and then uh, dip it in fire they can most and definitely shoot it out of a cannon. That's they literally the only way house. to kill them. And my mother knew this, Got the but dang she didn't have the time to go and get all of that done in Them time for need some so she just blue used what she had. And sure enough, when she sprayed this roach, all she did da, da, was da, make da. it mad and and like stronger. Like the rage insect that. poison oh, is like no. pre-workout for jumbo roaches. It, it just amped him up. And here's the most terrifying part about these roaches. They can fly. Well, so as soon as that roach tasted the poison, its massive back opened up and released oh its wings, and it began to fly at my mother, which, at that point, my mom <laughs> ran away, like, just completely abandoned me, and as she's doing it, she's, like, blindly carpet bombing oh the kitchen God. with roach poison, like, it got in my lungs, the dinner got f***ed up, but my mother, she didn't care. My mom was leaving. Like, like the house, like she said, Fuck this kid, the dinner, the house, this country, <laughs> this planet. Oh, I'm going to Mars, up. bitch, because that's the only place I know for sure oh, that God, they don't have no. roaches. And I don't really remember what happened next. I mean, I'm alive, which means that the roach didn't come back and like eat me. So <laughs> I guess eventually somehow it just left. So yeah. But by the time you get to my age, you've just accepted. I'm finna look this. I'm finna look this roach up <clears throat> and see how big it is. I was thinking it was just like some water bug or something. Dude said, dude, dude said it wasn't a regular sized roach, cause regular roaches fly too. Yeah, they fly. But this junk, like two times bigger than it, or whatever he said. Oh no, they can have the house. They can have the house. And they come in like regular damn roaches. They can have the house. Moving out. Um, so y'all, that was John Dunn, the sauce god. Uh, living with roaches. <coughs> Animated story time. Um, that right there, legit hilarious. That was, that was rolling. That was rolling this one. Y'all yeah, will watch some more of these. Young Dun the Sauce God. Give it a thumbs up, you guys. If you guys want me to watch more of this, Young Dun the Sauce God. Um, like I said, I had to take a break, y'all. I had to take a break. And during that break, I watched Pretty Little Liars. The, well, not the entire season. I watched season one and two. It was kind of boring, so I just stopped watching. It. Yeah, so. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And this has been another mission completion, and I'll see you guys in the next one.